What's up, Josh from Class Fitness. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you the pectoral fly and or pec deck. So smash that like if you appreciate these form videos. I'm gonna waste none of your time. Let's jump into it. So the first big thing here is this machine can be used two ways, as a pec fly or as a rear deltoid, uh, you know, when you're going opposite, working your rear delts. So the reason I mention this is placement is everything. If you have this way back here, it's gonna cause you to hyper kind of extend your chest and you can do some damage when you're resetting it. So it's really important, as you can see on screen, we put it at the right place. I'm really long, I have really long arms. I'm a tall guy, so I'm all the way at the back. If you're shorter, you might wanna bring that forward, play with it, get in a comfortable position not have this set up already. As for the bench, you just wanna kinda of put it at a reasonable height uh, for your actual height. So for me, I'm pretty tall, so I'll bring that bench a little bit lower, and that's where I'm gonna be in the best position to be actively working my chest. So I want my arms well above when I'm doing it like this. I don't want them way below. I wanna be pretty even with my shoulders. Now I'm just gonna grab this with a firm grip, grab this other side, plant myself on that bench, bracing into my abs, and I'm flying my arms together. Now a big takeaway with this, and a big mistake, and this is where you can do this correctly or incorrectly, people will heave forward and push in with their palms like they're trying to punch each other. You're gonna use momentum and you're actually gonna bring in a lot of your shoulders to do this. A good way to work against this, you can see I'm not getting a great chest contraction, is to actually do it by imagining I bring my elbows together. When I imagine I bring my elbows together, you can see that in my chest. I know I have a black shirt on, so it's not as easy to see, but I'm getting a much better contraction naturally. So I'll show you the difference here. A lot of people make this mistake, and you can see I'm bringing in other things. I'm working biceps a bit, a little shoulders. It's not what I want. Instead, I have my chest up high, elbows come in, squeeze. Nice slow contraction, squeeze, okay? Now, a few common mistakes I see here. People are gonna bring this too far back. And they're gonna reset every time. This is not good for your chest. You're disengaging and re-engaging a muscle, especially through extension. You wanna be careful here. This is how you can hurt yourself, especially if it comes way too far back. You're gonna hyperextend it. Be careful here, okay? Play with your range, get comfortable. Feel the full extension, time to do a full contraction. Easy adjustment to make there. Second mistake I see, people not finishing the reps. This is not a full rep at all. Seems obvious, but you wanna squeeze through it. Squeeze that chest. Envision someone's holding a piece of paper here and you're squeezing your chest into that piece of paper. Easy little fix there. Third mistake I see, not opening up that chest. Keep that chest up and high. Don't sink low, don't get weak. Brace those abs, chest high. Squeeze through it. Had a few good reps for you here and you are A-OK. -okay. So that's pretty much the pec deck in a nutshell. If you enjoyed this, once again, please smash like, subscribe, check out our other forum videos. We're here to help you. Uh, if you wanna check out our online fitness coaching, best available, that'll be the second link in the description down below, uh, just below that forum playlist. Definitely check out what we do, and if you wanna work one-on-one, -on -one, get the best results, that's how you do it. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.